Hi, I'm Daniel Wohl, working for Intel. We at the Intel Visual Computing Institute have a project called Big Data Visualization on Mobile Devices. And it's all about uh, how to get very big data sets like in medical imaging where you have a computer tomography scan. How do you visualize those in a very efficient way and that is also helpful for doctors. So, in order to do that, uh, with, uh, in cooperation with Professor Jens Krüger, we wrote the software Image with 3D, which you see here, and that visualizes our very big data sets, which are gigabytes or sometimes even terabytes. And we can do that here interactively on the fly, we can rotate easily, we can zoom, we can do all these fancy things. And we are running that actually on a MacBook Pro with the Intel integrated chip HD 3000 uh, Sandy Bridge generation. Also what we can do is we can change the transfer function. So a transfer function assigns uh, from a certain value which we get from our, from our volumetric data a certain color to it. In this case we assign red to the flashlight colors, we have this yellow for these arteries. And we can change that now and look at very different aspects of our model. Wow, so there, there goes the skin, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. So here we don't see any of the bones anymore. If there should be any skin relevant issues we want to see, then we can do that here. And let me change it one more time to something a little bit different. And now we see again much more of the bone structure, a little bit of the flesh here. Yeah, so pretty much whatever the doctor wants to see from this medical set, we can easily with the mouse change those settings. And now imagine you're in a hospital situation where the doctor wants to go up to the patient and speak with him about whatever's happening, like if there are any issues with the hand. It's much nicer if they can do that on a tablet. So we also have here a hybrid rendering approach. Uh, hybrid means in this way, uh, if we interactively move around, and I'll do that now, you will notice the quality will get lower. Then we render it locally on the tablet, and as soon as we release our finger again, the quality gets much better, and this picture actually comes from the cloud. So we have another machine here in this room which does these uh, very high quality calculations, and it streams it over wireless network then to this tablet and displays it here. Awesome, thanks so much for taking the time to show me that. Thank you.